That was Roma sharing those uh, learnings on how companies can strategically power their employer brand strategies with the help of technology and the role that it will play and impact the current and the future of talent. With this, we have now come to the most exciting part of today's virtual award ceremony, the moment we all have been waiting for, the winner announcements. And now uh, we would like to invite Vishwanath PS, MD and CEO Randstad India to facilitate to felicitate the top three winners of the Randstad Employer Brand Research Awards. I'll take a moment to introduce Vishwanath or Vishy as he's fondly known as to our audiences. Uh, Vishy is a business and finance veteran with over 28 years of experience across multiple industries. A pragmatic leader, Vishy's track record reflects the unending commitment of accelerating growth through implementation, effective operational strategies that are geared towards sustainable growth and profitability. Vishy joined Randstad India in 2014 as the head of Shared Services Center and was subsequently elevated as CFO in 2016. He was appointed as the MD and CEO of Randstad India in July 2021. At Randstad, Vishy has championed many transformational initiatives and his vision has helped him helm turnarounds of several non-performing business units to profitable ones in a admirable time. Extremely excited to have you here, Vishy. It's a great opportunity for People Matters to collaborate with Randstad India for this year's India edition of Rebel Awards. I would request you to say a few words before we announce the results. Thank you, Pallavi. Uh, good morning and namaste all of you. And thank you for joining the 2023 Randstad Employer Brand Awards. Uh, today, we gather here to celebrate excellence in employer branding and to recognize the exceptional achievements of companies that prioritize the employee's experience and cultivate a positive workplace culture. It's my distinct honor to announce the winners of the Randstad Employer Brand Research 2023. But before I unveil the winners, let me take a moment to appreciate the significance of this award. At Randstad, we firmly believe that a strong employer brand is a foundation for attracting and retaining top talent. It's a testament to an organization's commitment to creating a simulating and inclusive work environment, fostering growth and development, and prioritizing the well-being of its employees. Randstad has been celebrating the most sought after and attractive employer brands of the country through its flagship initiative, the Randstad Employer Brand Research, also called REBR, for the last 13 years in India and 23 years globally. This year, the research covered 32 markets and surveyed 163,000 respondents worldwide. The Randstad Employer Brand Research Award recognizes those companies that have stood out demonstrating exceptional employer branding strategies and making a significant impact on the world of work. The Rebel report uh, reflects the sentiments of the Indian workforce and provides valuable insights into the perceptions and drivers of choice of potential employees. Questions like why do people prefer, to, uh, prefer one company or a specific industry over another? What motivates them to stay with an employer or start looking elsewhere? So without further ado, I'm delighted to announce the winners of Rebel 2023. As I call upon the winners, may I request for the animation to come up on the screen. So let's start with the second runners up. One of the world's most geographically diversified steel producers with operations and commercial presence across the world, Tata Steel, is the second runner-up this year. The company scored the highest in the areas of financial health, good reputation, and job security. Our congratulations to Tata Steel, the second runner-up of Reber 2023. <laughs> So we have uh, Mukesh Agarwal from Tata Steel. So may I request uh, Mukesh Agarwal to come out uh, on the stage.
Yeah, uh, thank you. And uh, on behalf of Tata Steel's management team, I thank the Randstad India team for adjudging us amongst top three Randstad employers brand award uh, 2023. A 115 years old company has always been known for its pioneering efforts towards employees' welfare and well-being. We have pioneered welfare initiatives in past, such as eight hours workday, annual leave with wages, maternity leave, provident fund, profit sharing bonus, which has later been adopted as statutes in India. We, while we are one of the oldest sustainable companies, our processes, practices, and policies have always been ahead of its time. We were amongst the first manufacturing companies to have introduced five days work week in a 24 by seven plant operations. We have extremely liberal social security schemes which gives us protection, which gives a lot of protection to our the employees and their family members in case of any eventuality. We are into manufacturing setup. And even though we allow unlimited work from home to our white collared employees, and there are few segments which are allowed to work from any locations of their choice. There is a strong focus on diversity and we have onboarded uh, approximately 100 transgender persons in our heavy earth moving mach uh, machinery and are the first Indian company to open core mining operations to the transgender community. For every segment of the workforce, we have hyper-personalized policies such as gender-neutral parental leaves, trans-friendly healthcare benefits, adoption assistance and leave, travel on company business with children, parenthood bundle, menstrual leaves, honeymoon holiday packages, and so on and so forth. Our brand proposition is to do more, live more, grow more. We focus on community connect, encourage volunteerism, promote innovation, technology, and digitization in every aspect of the work and have a healthy work-life balance. We also promote a culture of collaboration, transparency, performance, and provide freedom to fail and flexibility to make an impact. While we do all of this, we also establish a fine balance between organizations' need and the employees' expectations. We will continue to make efforts to further strengthen our employee brand, and we look forward to more recognitions in time ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Ranstad. Thank you, Mukesh Agarwal. Uh, Mukesh Agarwal is the Chief uh, HRBP of Tata Steel. And congratulations once again, and thanks for sharing your experiences with us. All right. So uh, from second runner-up to first runner-up, who are they? I'm sure you're curious. Uh, a force to reckon with in the Indian e-commerce space, this company offers millions of products to millions of registered users on its platform across various categories. Amazon India is the first runner up. They have been continuing with the winning streak since 2019. This year, the company scored the highest in the areas of financial health, good reputation and interesting job content. Congratulations, Amazon India, the first runner-up of Rebber 2023. I take pride in inviting... Yeah, may I invite uh, Deepti Verma, who is here with us today, uh, to share a few words about how Amazon got in here. Thank you, Deepti. And welcome. Good morning and good morning, Vishwa. I'm really, really happy to be here with all of you today. And you know, it is a heartful acknowledgement of all the work that we've done with our teams. But I must say this wouldn't have been possible if it was not for our employees and the great culture that we all are really proud of. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate Mr. Mukesh Agarwal and uh, the Tata team. Uh, really great insights and great learning from all of you. Uh, I must say that while we have our own uh, ways in which we try to understand uh, what our employees are really looking for, but I do want to really thank Randstad because uh, they share these insights year on year, which has helped us in our journey to make uh, Amazon one of the most uh, uh, best employer brand and in fact one of our leadership principles which is uh, striving to be earth's best employer goes uh, in this direction and thank you so much Vishwa for sharing all the insights. 
while you know we have this tool called connection where we get real time feedback from our employees we also have something which we do as round tables listening circles we have introduced something else called paper cuts where we try to understand what are some of the things that we could do in order to you know improve employee experience and remove those paper cuts it was very interesting i was listening to some of the presentations which were happening earlier and i heard that people focus a lot on employees who are joining uh, the organization but at amazon we feel that one of our thing is that for anyone who's joining who is staying with amazon or even leaving amazon it should be a frustration free experience so we actually spend a lot of time talking to employees who are leaving amazon also to make sure that we are looking at employee experience and trying to make it frustration free the second thing that is very important which has helped us to you know be what we are today is our diverse workforce and for us diversity is not about you know uh, gender only it is about gender pwd people uh, uh, with different sexual orientation veterans people with different caste ki people with different experiences and we value that a lot and i think we have become what we are because of the diverse workforce we feel that we need to rep- replicate our customer base in our employee base and we think our customer is our our employees are our customers and we should work backwards from their needs uh one thing that i want to also tell you all that as we speak this month uh, amazon.in celebrated 10 years in india uh, it was a very humbling experience because uh, we wouldn't have been what we are today if it was not for all the great people there who have shopped at amazon and made amazon what it is it is today but one thing that has been a more humbling experience than all this is the way uh, you know uh, the dpx the team has worked backwards from what the employee wants and look at the employee experience uh, uh, paramount uh, we actually came up with new hr tenets this year and one of the tenets that was there was that um, uh, you know whatever we try and launch when whatever hr products we should try and launch we should make it simple scalable intuitive just like no one teaches you how to go at an amazon website and learn about how to shop we wanted hr products to be simple and scalable and that's what we've done um, we launched twill which is a mental health and well-being uh, tool which is very intuitive we launch hr chats which is very intuitive and this is like a small step in the large journey that we have as we say at amazon it's always day one so thank you so much vishwa and thank you for the whole landstar team for you know giving us this valuable insight this would not have been possible without your support thank you Thank you, Deepthi, and uh, I hope you have the trophy in front of you. So yes, it is there. Thank you so much. It is. It is. So thank you very much again. And you are getting this in your tenth year. So wish you also a very uh, uh, good anniversary uh, as you, as Amazon celebrates ten years in India. So uh, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, Deepthi Verma is the VP HR, People Experience and Technology at Amazon Stores India. an emerging market so thank you for sharing your insights would really want to catch up with you and understand little bit more about your paper cut and and some great work that's happening on the mental well being thank you for being here thank today you. yeah all right and now to the most exciting part the rebel winner for 2023 they are one of india's largest integrated power companies present across the entire power value chain of conventional and renewable energy power services and next generation customer solutions including solar rooftop ev charging stations and home automation the company scored the highest in the areas of financial health good reputation and career progression i am extremely delighted to announce the winner of randstad employer brand research 2023 it's none other than tata power company can i have the animation please
congratulations startup power and uh, we have himal tiwari here today uh, may i welcome himal to the center stage hi himal thank you for hi 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 uh, sure hi pallavi congratulations it's a big moment oh it is certainly is and uh, i'm so happy and i'm th so thankful to uh, to outstanding other organizations who have been meet as uh, you know also finalists both of them are amazing brand names and very happy to be in this august company and thank you randstad and people matters uh, you know for this extremely special recognition that means a lot to us all right himal maybe uh, you could tell us a little bit about the secret sauce behind tata power being the number one in the space All right, I think look, uh, it's such a uh, shot in the arm for the entire HR team uh, and also the employees of Tata Power. I think this uh, it wouldn't be possible if, of course, the last everybody in this equal to one has contributed to what where we are today. But I think I must just share with you that uh, we have been on a part of a very fundamental transition, and uh, that is. something that is going on around us climate change and clean energy that is uh, arguably the biggest topic of discussion everywhere including sustainability and we at tata power actually are the at the, at the pivot of what is happening and we are mimicking that in a large way and i'm very happy that uh, transformation program we call it as tata power 2.0 you know i think something for a 106 year old company 2.0 is a fairly significant transformation and we we kind of uh, you know transformed on many legs uh, and and i would just broadly highlight some of them one was of course making employees at the center of it and the transformation happens at the heart of it is when when we work on employees uh, we work extensively on employee development and i think that is something that we are very happy with last three years we've included a uh, very significant work on leadership development Uh, on various uh, levels of management we work with some of the best institutions in this country uh, work with our content our framework we also are building deeply in skills because the transformation of our company is happening on the lines of being on technology analytics and customer centricity and uh, we have worked extensively in creating skill academies where hundreds of our employees go through every year and we invest heavily in them uh, additionally in the last Three years, we have also revamped a fair bit of our talent framework and our approach, our policy framework. As you know, I think some of our, some of uh, you know, Mukesh also mentioned is about how can we make uh, our policy framework uh, very friendly, employee friendly, and also more importantly, more contemporary. As uh, Tata Power uh, is becoming younger, our average age is uh, now 38, and which with the kind of expansion we are happening. we will be a third average age will be 34 very shortly and we will be about 40% of our workforce is less than 30 so you can imagine we are becoming a younger company and it will have to manifest express engage communicate and of course be finding meaning to that category of employees and that i think has been a very very fundamental work that we have been doing and that is where how our employee brand is manifesting in that uh, zone interestingly we work Uh, on a very uh, you know a, a total health i think we have a initiative that uh, we formulated and we are very proud of it we call it a fuller life a fuller life is not only about you know physical health it's also about mental health emotional health financial health uh, and and we we integrate it into a, a platform and including various initiatives including sports to to say that look how can we have a fuller life for all of us and as we engage with our with our firm uh in, interestingly as we talk uh, diversity is is important part for us including gender of course remains a big part of it uh, and also uh, a pwd an interesting piece for some of our companies is also intergenerational diversity you know i think uh, tata steel is 115 we are 107 some of us our companies have multi generational uh, uh, workforce existing coexisting how do they talk to each other interact with each other celebrate each other's differences is something that we are extensively working on and i think we are very proud of the work that has been delivered now lastly i think our our engagement and our 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 our, 
our entire interface with employees at large uh, is, is becoming very, very contemporary. We take EVP very, very seriously. Uh, how, uh, what is the experience that everybody gets? Uh, we're working on a very interesting, perhaps the first in the world project on using uh, uh, neuroscience and validating our EVP experiences. So this is a project we're doing with IIM Ahmedabad uh, and using neuroscience uh, and uh, how EVP is integrated with that. You know, this is a very fundamental part of how employees and, and prospective employees and ex-employees uh, are experiencing our, our, our employer brand. But overall, I think we are very, very happy where we have arrived uh, uh, and we are on a journey. Uh, we are on a journey of transformation. And thank you, Randstad. Thank you, People Matters for a very special recognition. It's, I can't tell you how important that is because it reconfirms we are in the right journey and, and, and we are on the right track. And, and I'm so proud of this uh, uh, special recognition that we have got. Thank you very much. Thank you, Himal. I think I think some key words uh, as Tata Power 2.0 gets launched. I think you talked about sustainability, employ employees at the center, talent framework. Uh, I love the concept of fuller life, EDP, and then yeah, I think the neuroscience on uh, putting together a solid employer value proposition, employee value proposition. So all these are great. What I really like is a uh, 107 company, year old company getting younger with the average age coming down from 38 to 34. So, so that's phenomenal. So thank you so much. Uh, I think uh, for people in the audience, Himal Tiwari is the CHRO, head CSR and sustainability at Tata Power Company on the stage. And it's my pleasure, Himal, to award this trophy to you virtually. Uh, Oh, it's a proud moment for everyone. Thank you very much. It's a proud moment for all of us. Thank you. Right. right. Thank you. Thank you, Himal. Thank you. So, yeah, I mean, I, I want to really congratulate all the three top three winners. So we had Mukesh, Deepti, and then Himal. Before I conclude, I want to also congratulate the top 10 winners of Rebber 2023. So... Let's take a look at India's top 10 employer brands that made the cut. Can we have the names up on the screen, please? Wow. So congratulations again. I think you see those names. Uh, so, so most of you recognize that and people who are in search of a job, you know where to go now, right? So uh, here is a toast for our million dollar winners and let the celebrations begin. So I want to hand it over back to Pallavi uh, for conclusion and the video. Thank you so much, Chad. It was wonderful to see uh, a, you know, a generational shift as in from 10 years to 100 years, um, multi-dimensional companies. And thank you so much, Vishy, for summarizing and announcing all the winners. And a big congratulations to all the winners, uh, top three winners, Mukesh, Deepti Himal, and everyone else whose name we saw on the list there. Uh, it's your contribution, your approach uh, that has brought you onto the uh, coveted list of Rebel Awards 2023. And I hope our audiences also will take a lot of actionable insights uh, from the winning strategies of India's top employer brands. With this, uh, well, let's now uh, look, uh, take a look at the Reba 2023 insights uh, through this short video. Thank you once again, Vishi. And for the audiences, stay tuned for the power panel coming up next after the video. Twenty twenty three. In an extraordinary economic climate, what are the emerging trends in how employees regard work? What are their views and concerns? Did you know that workers are prioritizing job security amidst uncertainty and, at the same time, wanting more flexibility and a much more positive work life balance? Reskilling and upskilling are equally important to workers, allowing them to explore new paths or career progression. How do you, as an employer, accommodate and adapt to these shifting expectations? 
That's where the 2023 Randstad Employer Brand Research proves invaluable. It provides a wealth of insights for businesses who listen to the needs and concerns of their workforce, helping you prepare to become the best employer of choice you can be. So this year, we surveyed more than 160,000 workers in 32 markets across the globe. The respondents were employed and unemployed people between 18 and 65. And we asked them, what do you look for in an employer? We can see that economic and job security are at the forefront of people's minds. And that Gen Z and millennials are putting way more value on their work-life balance. They are inclined not to accept a job if they think it might affect this. The trend in flexible working hours continues to be very important in terms of what workers are looking for in a role. Another emerging trend is workers being pushed into finding new sources of income by taking on or looking for a second role to help manage with the cost of living. So how can you address these changing attitudes and expectations? Certainly by constantly evaluating your employee value proposition. Listen to your employees, understand what they say and act on it. Because creating a strong attraction and retention strategy will not only help you gain a competitive edge, but it will also create a happy and healthy employee experience within your organization. So, learn all about it in this year's Randstad Employer Brand Research. Randstad, let's find work that feels good.